Welcome to week four of T-O-L. And we have, uh, let's be real, we have a bad one here, folks. I normally come up here and tell you we have a great one and tell you why it's so great. But we've got a shit game here. Um, We've got the pretty Rickies and their one and two record and uh, negative 30 in scoring differential going up against the D-Men Tap Gamers and their 0-3 record and negative 31 scoring differential. So we got a bunch of sucktards here today. But we've got some fun players. We've got some cool names. We've got the, the very fun to call Rickies. And, of course, my boy King Davis on the other end here. My first chance to call the D-Men this year. So that's good. All right, Rick Ross is back. So that's a big victory for uh, for the Rickies here. That might be the difference that they need to turn their season around. Um, so they will be uh, winning the toss and returning the ball. Um, yeah, these black and red unis are, are tight. I really like these black and red unis. Um, Ricky Ticky Toffee. Oh, oh, slow as balls. With the return, but I love that he's got Ricky Ticky Toffee as one of his players. That's great. All right, um, so uh, Pittman drops back, air balls it to Ricky Six, and uh, first and ten. Looking, 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 dropping back. He's got jumped down. Man, is he moonballing these? Ricky Gervais with the catch, spreading the ball around. First and ten. Got his another check down. Oh, he's going deep to, to, to. Oh, can't get it. I'm, I am denied. So these teams are both in the same conference. They're in the RNG division of the Bob Conference. So they're in the same division here. Got another check down. Oh, air balls it across the middle. You can't do that in King Davis territory, folks. That's the king. Put his crown on. Bow to him. Bow to the king. Oh, ho, ho. woo! The nature boy, Ric Flair, with a big sack. Answers the turnover with a big play of their own. And now, oh, little Don's gets picked off. A big pop pump is your hookup. Holla if you hear me. Rick Steiner. Oh, air ball again. Boom, to six. You know, I think next year I might just have to do a wrestler team. I uh, I know there's there was one in TFO. There was like a manager's one here, but screw it. It's just one of the coolest themes you can possibly do. So many cool catchphrases and things. I think I'm, I think I'm doing wrestlers next year, especially since Philly's finest blows this year. All right, top receiver's open. Oh, tries to get it in there, but incomplete once again. And uh, Sticky Ricky Pittman drops back. Air ball. <laughs> Touchdown! I'm Rick James, bitch. Unity! I think I'm bleeding inside my chest. Fuck yo couch! I'm Rick James, bitch. All right, so Rick Sanchez with the kickoff, and the Rickies are able to get the first score. Giblin, Gblan, somebody like that, tracking, tracking, tracking. Nope, he could bust it. Oh, brings it down to the th two. Man, can't quite get that touch. That's a great return, but does not get the score. Oh, green magic. Magic has been very poorly paid the last few years, but I'll be curious to see how he looks this year. Little Dons! Dons is it up. Little Dons, little Dons, little Dons. And that is going to likely tie the game up here, folks. Little Dons, who's mostly been a check down receiver. It's one of the things I like about the uh, formatting for this year is that all these uh, different players... You know, it gives more of an opportunity for different players to touch the ball. Little Don's has usually been a check down receiver, but now he gets to run it. And here comes the speedy Ricky Ticky Tavi. Oh, God. <laughs> First and dead. Pittman looking around. 
Boom. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Pittman's looking, looking, looking. Air balls it up. Hoo-wee. Not even close. I have no idea what the strategy was here. Was he... I mean, I, I know that there's like a, a concept of maybe he gave all his receivers good hands and so you underpay the, the throwing strength to to try and get guys to jump up, but I think you got to pay it a little bit more than it did. I don't think it quite worked out the way you hoped. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to turn around. So I love how Rick Astley there tackles him, and then the second he's done tackling him, dives on him again anyway. He, like, tackles him, and then, nope, screw you. I'm going to hit you again. Green magic. A green magic woman. Picks up for three. Look at Bow oh, Sack. Ricky Rocket. I don't think I know who Ricky Rocket is. It'd be cool if it was Ricky Raccoon. DPS, the legend himself. No! Just out of reach of the legend. And they're forced to punt. Oh, Tavi's on uh on punt return duty too. Not good. No, makes a nice little move, but just too slow to make anything happen. So 7-7 seven, seven game after one quarter. And uh, here come the Rickies. Sack. Fill now. Not later. You thought you were going to fill it like later, maybe like after the third quarter. You, you know, get up and fill your drink. Nope. Fill it now. Oh, air mailing it. Let's see here. Ricky Gervais. No. And these these are dangerous passes with the with King Davis running around. I think I think we're gonna see Davis is gonna get his hands on another one. I'm calling it right now. Rick James, I'm Rick James, I'm Rick James, bitch. Oh, nice pickup for Rick James. Darknesses. He was like, somebody said, "Oh, there's Rick James, Rick James, touchdown, Rick James." Cocaine's a hell of a drug. So, somebody asked him before the game, and somebody was like, are you going to have trouble telling these teams apart? Uh, because you both wear red. You both have red helmets. You both have red pants. And Rick James looked at the interviewer confused. And, and the interviewer was like, well, what's going to be the difference, you know, between you guys and them? And he pointed at the other team and he said, darkness is... All right, so here's the, the kick return by G. Bland. Brings it out to like the nine ish. Taylor. Oh, gets stuck by Rick Moranis. Ravishing Rick Moranis, his uh, TFO counterpart. And uh, the handoff to Little Dons. Picks up maybe five. I don't know what that was. Anyway, third and seven is, all, is what really matters. And Taylor. Now the legend is open again. Can he get it there? Oh, man. They are having trouble with that connection. Looks like uh, Allen Iverson and um, Will Chamberlain just, like, not connecting, even though the, everything looks open. Oh, that first blocker just whiffed on that guy coming in. First and ten. Here we go. Pittman gets eaten up. The infamous smoke. Pittman dropping back. Boom! Space Coyote! Brings him down. Third and 24. Got to loft one up to somebody. Or just get eaten alive by the called play. Fourth and 29. And yes, I think it's safe to say we're going to see a punt, folks. Rick Astley. Let's see what, what damage Astley can do here running down. Always fun just to target him, watch him. Boom! Blows up that first guy. Brings the punt returner down. You know, there's been so many big kick returns, but with these inflated punters, I'm surprised that so many punts have been have been doing so well, considering how nasty people are making these punters. Oh, the dick ass man makes the catch or gets the sack. All right, throwing it to DPS. Oh, the D back actually beat DPS to the ball, but nobody got their hands on it. 
Taylor Porkroll is looking around. Dump down to Green Magic. He's got some space. Oh, makes the safety miss. Can't make the second safety miss, but a nice little move there by Green Magic. It's now first and ten. Trying to put a drive together. Their offense hasn't been doing much so far. There's the Little Dons. And I've asked this in previous seasons, but the presence of Little Dons makes me wonder. Is there a Big Dons? And they never know. Oh, the call play. Third and 11. And with a struggling offense here, this is a big play. They had just gotten the ball over into the other team's territory and then return it right back. Taylor's moving. Oh, but Taylor gets caught up. Brought down by Ravishing Rick Moranis, star of Ghostbusters. And um, also Rick Moranis in. Um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Um, he retired for like a long time. I know he just was like, yeah, screw it. I'm done. I got my money. I'm done. All right, Sticky Ricky Pittman. Oof. Dangerous dump down, but fortunately for him, does not go anywhere. Ricky Gervais, enough for the first down. Did all you guys go out and watch that Liam Neeson um, and Ricky Gervais skit? I'm telling you, watch it. Just go to YouTube, type Gervais, Liam Neeson. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. You've got to watch it. I'm Rick James. That, that'll end the half. So, uh, defensive-minded game here, which is fun to watch. Um, seems like some of these offenses are just going through these uh, massive uh, offense and especially special teams dominant type games so far this year. But it's nice to see, uh, you know, a little bit of defense, a little bit of ball control here. Let's see, G-Blan has really been the only source of offense. Or is he Goblin? I want to call him Goblin. Although Goblin isn't AM either, but I think I think I'm just gonna call him Goblin the rest of the year. So Goblin with another nice return. Yeah, really again, the only offense they really had is their special teams. Uh, you know, the legend is open again. Can these connections finally they finally are able to connect? Daniel Patrick Slattery gets the big catch, the big gain. First and ten. This is what they've been looking for. Maybe Taylor Porkle. But found his groove for the second half. Wow! Ricky Martin, living la vida loca. Your quarterback sucks dick. Living la vida loca. BP. Ass diving touchdown! Daniel Patrick Flattery! The legend. Back for another season. Might not be putting up the same big numbers this year as he has in past years. Uh, based on what I'm seeing today. But... He was money on that drive. Money, 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 money. Pat McAfee with the kickoff. Tick, Ricky Tiki Tabe. Brutal. Um, brings it out. And there's Sticky Ricky Pippen. He's going to run it himself. Oh, track down eventually. Does he hold the ball? Those are, those are the situations I get nervous that... Uh, they're going to cough the ball up, but he did not there. Tie game. Pittman, oh, gets it off this time. Oh, incomplete. Not sacked. Pittman. Oh, the handoff to Gervais. That's his first carry, I believe, today. Uh -huh. Pittman bootlegs. <clears throat> The dump wow, that defender just like had a serious dive. Stopped him from getting the first down. <coughs> and forces the punt. This is just gonna get blasted into the end zone. We have first and ten after the touchback. Pork roll looking around. Oh, he's got the legend open again. No, oh, knock down. Defense stepping up again. Green magic woman. I know it's not what that song actually says, so I don't need to hear shit in the comments. 
Oh. <laughs> DPS went for a block and paid the price for it. And the return the quarterback's not able to get the short distance needed for a first down. Let's see if Tiki Tavi can catch up with this one. This is gonna land in bounds. Catches it, but why even bother? And he's up to the 23. If he's paid that poorly for speed. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Ball control is covered automatically. Uh oh, we got somebody open deep. An incomplete. Second and 10 from their own 24. Bottom receiver's open. Oh, but he gets sacked. Space Coyote. Third and 21. Need a big gain. Haven't been too many of these big gains for either team today. One's a bootleg. He's going to keep it himself. There's no way he's going to pick that up. Fourth and 16, and it's another punt. Rick Astley here in to do his job. Keeps it away. Oh, but they actually block him back there, so he's not going to come flying down. Let's see if Giblin, the Goblin, takes up to the 38-ish. And we got another first and 10, so the momentum is on the side now of the... Uh, Of Slattery's team here. Second and uh, four. Uh, give to Green Magic. Picks it up. First down across the 50 on the opponent's side of the field. Moving it, grooving it, feeling good. The legend is open. Can he get it there? Got it there. Will they catch him? Catches him down at the nine, but a nice play. The D men are moving, going places. Corporal's got somebody open down. Sean. Intercepted! I want all you fat, out of shape, demon tap gamers to avert your eyes as I remove my robe and intercept this ball. Oh, Rick Ross getting involved. I think that's his first involvement of the game. No, no, no. He's had to overrun the ball a couple times. Uh, I, I must have missed it. But anyway, okay. Uh, Pittman, looking around, not much there. Looking for Rick Berwick. I looked up who that was the other day, but I can't remember now. I don't remember who Rick Berwick is. Should be Rick Blaine. Oh, call the play. Eaten up. So, um, I'm hungry. Do you want to go get food now? No, no, fill now. Fill now. Pittman, man, he looks like he wants to run. Space Coyote! Fourth and 21, another punt upcoming. Whole lot of punts going on here today. Ashley once again ahead of the pack. Oh, can't shed that blocker. I wonder if Ashley dropped a condition here because he was just flying around killing people earlier in this game and now not so much. Oh, oh, he gets him! Dick Assman. The quarterback was getting ready to bootleg out. He thought he had him, but Assman just reaches up and grabs one shoestring and Trips him up and he goes down. Sean. Good old Sean. Good old just Sean. All right. First and 10 from the 42. And here comes Green Magic. Second and three. I see Green Magic. I think of Magic the Gathering because green is one of the five colors of Magic the Gathering. Call the play. Living La Vida Loca. Your quarterback success. Living La Vida Loca. Third and seven. This is a big play in this game. And they, at some point, somebody's got to score some points. Are they going to kick this field goal? They are. This is going to be a long one, but makeable. Somebody, I think it was actually, uh, oh, this is a miss. This is a clear miss. Um, I think it was actually, uh, Slattery that posted it on the on the thing that's that flow chart here to show the kicker accuracy and, and all that stuff Which was pretty cool uh, Ricky six across the middle Oh Fumbles yeah, see, We haven't had too many turnovers since the early portion of the game the gamers get it and this could be the break folks this You know somebody had to make a play Somewhere in the crux of this game to, to take this game in one direction or the other and that fumble might be it little Don's picks up four and maybe just one more first down, and they will be in a position to possibly kick that long-awaited field goal. Sean. Just Sean. 
All right, now they're clearly in field goal range. Not that it's a easy make or anything like that, but. First and 10. Pork roll, oh, gets eaten up. Rick Moranis, once again, the one thing they couldn't do is take a deep sack, make the field goal harder. Oh boy. The legend's got some room, but I think there's a safety back there. No, he catches it! Slattery, under pressure, catches it down at like the three. Oh boy, and is it Don's time? Can Don's punch this one in? Let's see. Gets a blocker. Oh, he's short again. Call the same play. Give it to Don's. I hope they're going to throw it, which seems like a big mistake. Oh, man, third down. You really want to get these seven on the board. You don't want to leave it up to the kicker. He's booting out. He's booting out. Gets swallowed up. I'm swallowed. Ho, oh, oh. ho. With 13 seconds left, they're forced to go for the short field goal. They will get this. So they will take the lead. And it feels comfortable, especially when you consider who it is that's returning. Ricky Tiki Tavi is not going to be one to bust a 90 yard kick return. So they need to do the whole thing in one play and they don't have an exactly explosive offense. Um, he's gonna boot out, he's gonna dump it down to Gervais. Again, just does not have the speed. So uh, good game, defensive battle here. Um, you know, and now the D-men are tied for first place. And, you know, everybody wants to make the playoffs. So, you know, being tied for first place is a good a good spot to be in. Um, so it doesn't matter, you know, if, if your division is that bad, then you can you still have a focus. And every team in that division has a place to keep their mind um, targeted. So it should be a fun one. It doesn't have to be the best most competitive divisions to be the most fun. If I remember correctly, this division has five uh, kind of fun teams. Sort of like an interesting one to follow. I'm trying to pull up my thing. I know I have it here. Um, okay, so it's a four-team division. So, yeah, the Serial Killers, which is crazy. They picked up their first win this week and the G.I. Joe, the rookie. So, um, that's definitely a fun division. I'll be keeping my eyes on it. And uh, so thanks for joining us. Have a good one.